But that day was pretty much the day that my dick stopped working. What is up, people? If you watched the last video, you know we talked about how to increase your testosterone naturally, but man went completely overboard on the science, of course, so we are going to split this into two series, and this is going to be the second one, of course, starting in little, so we're going to go over a ton more tips to increase your testosterone naturally, so if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get going. So here we go, we're switching up the post-workout meal, we're going to go for some muffins, some more of the reduced fat bacon medallions, of course, we have to go for the staple spinach, and then again, you know I've been busy when I run out of oats, so another kilo of oats. Oh, it is a beautiful day in the home of the potato, but yes, that is pretty much the pickup. You already know we're probably gonna go somewhere else in this video, but yeah, you know the deal. Oh my God, the Baymobile once again won't start, but we do have the green light, so you will find out if we make it in three, two, one. Just about. We had a few stumbles, so you know the deal. The pre-workout is in, but go click the link so I can go buy a van that doesn't break down. <laughs> Anyway, back to testosterone. So in the last video, we covered dietary factors like calories, macros, but now let's talk micros, okay? Because there are micros out there which have actually shown to increase tests, such as the lesser known ones like vitamin A, K2, and E, but overall it seems that vitamin D and zinc are by far the two most important. Because as you can see in the table by Misner 2006, they are both ranked in the top three of the most deficient micronutrients seen in both males and female diets, okay? So vitamin D, for example, where et al. 2010 showed that men with sufficient vitamin D levels to have significant higher levels of testosterone than those deficient with another study by Pils et al 2011 showing supplementation of up to 3332 IU of vitamin D per day for one year to increase test levels by 20% so apart from just taking a vitamin D supplement or actually ensuring you get enough like exposure to sunlight there are foods out there rich in vitamin D such as ah, there we go pretty much any red meat a good source. Boily fish is very very good so you have mackerel, you have salmon, sardines although disgusting they're pretty good and then you have like herring, you have more mackerel, more salmon and then eggs in particular the egg yolk but you get the deal. Anyway here we go let's see if this works. Ah, if that isn't dedication to the game I don't know what is but we have just finished a whopper of a workout. Full workout will be down below. And here we go we have our egg in our Tupperware. 20 minutes, 3, 2, 1. Boom there we go 20 20. Bish bash bash finito. I think I need to start going to level 11. Cardio is honestly being far too easy every single day. But anyway. But firstly, before we shower up, coming home to this, Mama Murray is literally making some healthy KFC. What do we have here? Come on, take yeah. us through this quickly. It's uh, drop chicken drumsticks. Chicken and you put drumsticks. Flour on it, and then you egg, on. and then you put. Nice brown bread with a bit of pepper and parmesan cheese. Who needs the Mr. Colonel when you have Mama Murray? I don't know if I'll partake for dinner, but they look really, really good. So anyway, let's get back to the video. Give us a transition through the forehead. Come on. And yes, people, look at this feed. Mum is downstairs and we have a call now, so we are in a rush. But yes, the B-roll will be on the screen. We have like four muffins, two with jam, and then two like homemade egg McMuffins from McDonald's. So super, super good. We're going to smash this down and get on the call. But quickly, let's go back to micronutrients and zinc. Because as you can see in the table by Prasad et al. 1996, in zinc deficient men, supplementation with 459 micromoles for six months pretty much doubled testosterone from 8.3 to 16 nanomoles per liter. So again, apart from taking a supplement, there are foods out there rich in zinc such as <coughs> any shellfish so we have mussels then we have some like crab claws shrimp are pretty good and that's right we're in Tesco's still Oregon because I want to provide you value once again any red meat is high in zinc legumes in particular like chickpeas and lentils or to be honest most beans the same goes for like nuts pretty much any nut and then like seeds sunflower seeds pumpkin seeds some dairy so like milk cheese is pretty good as well much like vitamin D eggs are good as well so yeah Hopefully that helped you, provided a little bit of value, but to be honest, the main reason I'm here is actually because we have run out of skinny sauces, the white chocolate one in particular, and it's been a while since we've come to the Dublin Me Company, so let's christen this the Motherland Numero 28. <laughs> and look at this fam, we got meal prep on deck, loads of zinc with red meat, and I do think they have like shellfish over there, and then <laughs> the sweet potato pizzas, I haven't tried them yet, but I've heard the reviews are very, very poor. But this, as usual, is what we're here for, so they have the savoury ones, but the sweet ones are what we're after. And the white chocolate one is the goat or the salted caramel, but I think I'll just go for one of those. The goods have been acquired, and on the topic of white chocolate, you know we have to. Is visit Deals, aka the shop that does white chocolate cocoa pops, two for five euro, or at least they hope they do. And here we go. It is the moment of truth. Oh no, Nesquik. 
Cookie crisp. Oh no. Oh. Oh dear, we are not in business family. They don't have any. We got a ton of cookie crisps. They are two for five euro and then like the mega box, 1.1 kilos of the regular ones. And then Nesquik seem to be the one that they've sort of stocked up on. So yeah, oh, they're very weird actually. They're like little letters. I haven't seen them before. Anyway, if there's one way to crush my dreams, it's pretty much this. So here we go, transition through the forehead. Screw it! I had my mind set on white chocolate cocoa pops, so we're gonna get some white chocolate cocoa pops. And I am hoping around this corner you know where they are. Oh, jeez, it's 4.45. Still, we're gonna get them. And there we go, fam. One box, white chocolate cocoa pops, so here we go, catch these. Oh my days! That could have been very dangerous with all this alcohol here. Oh my god, but yes, you're probably asking why is this all here? Well, that is gonna be the next dietary factor. The final thing is gonna to be to limit your alcohol because according to Vali Mackey et al. 1990, excessive alcohol consumptions led to a decrease in serum testosterone by an average of 23%. Even with more realistic, modest consumptions as seen in the graph by Seri Kasma et al. 2004, still showing decreases of 6.8% in men. But interestingly enough, not in women. That being said, however, there is also evidence out there showing small amounts can actually increase testosterone. Therefore, as per Bianco 2014, all the studies that analyze testosterone using a dose lower than 1.5 grams per kilo show an increase in testosterone versus all those using higher dosages of 1.5 grams per kilo showing a decrease, meaning you should probably be okay if you're just like a recreational drinker. But if you go on a complete bender, then yeah, you're definitely not setting yourself up for success. Anyway. It's time for meal two. So we have a big bowl of pasta, penne pasta, some tomato sauce. We have some sweet corn, some two and a half and onion. So you know the deal. Bish, bosh, bosh. Not quite the pasta bake of the gods, but you already know we're still eating out of bowls the size of our head. Of course. Oh my days, it is so cold. Please, you be my friend. But yes, I don't want this video to be super, super long and I have a load of good content to still talk about. But I'm just letting you know, I'm taking the boxes. So I hope you're proud. I'll see you when I get home. Yes, people, we are actually going to partake in the family dinner today. So we actually cooked up some chips for me and then the parents are just going to have the whole grain rice and then I am going to microwave up some leftover veggies. We have a nice salad and then we have all of the chicken crisped up nicely. Just put that in the oven. So yeah, I'm going to partake with the fam today. So I'm going to smash this down and then check back in with you tomorrow. Yes, people, I bet you weren't expecting that, but we did not have these for the macro cap round. First, let's appreciate this trick shot. Oh. It was at this moment that he knew. Oh, oh my god. Anyway, the macro capper will be on the screen. It went for the fresh box of white chocolate cocoa pops and then the salted caramel Gianni. And yes, we are in Lidl, banged out the morning steps. And we are scoping out the deals. We have extra lean beef for like 175. And they even have the burger buns to match 55 cents. But I think I'm gonna go for these whole wheat ones because hashtag help and 41 cents. Oh, look at the bakery. Beautiful. And you already know we're probably gonna be back here later on tonight. So for now, transition through the forehead. And here we go, back to testosterone and science. And this is a whopper one, and that is to sleep. There is a ton of science out there. So as seen in the graph by Go and Tong 2010, men who sleep less than four hours per day have 60% less total testosterone and 55% less bioavailable testosterone than men who sleep over eight hours. Then in another study by Van Cowder et al, as you can see in the dotted line against the thicker line, uh, they showed where sleeping actually five hours per night for one week resulted in a 10 to 15% decrease in daytime testosterone levels with one final super cool graph as seen by Pane of 2007 who do literally show a linear relationship between the amount of sleep you get and both total and free testosterone concentrations thus proving that sleep is like literally an independent predictor of testosterone levels the more you sleep the higher your levels are going to be so ideally get a minimum of like seven to eight hours sleep if you really want to maximize your testosterone levels preferably more but anyway we are about to work out here we go three two one and there we go literally like a two out of ten workout not good at all, and we did do conditioning. That was a whopper, as always. And then, of course, you already know, we can always manage a bit of Stairmaster. So three, two, one, boom, there we go. 2020, bish bash, bosh. Sort of funny how it's easier to slog through endurance training than like high intensity weightlifting, but we got it done. And here we go, seeing as we've done one trick shot today, why not do two? Yes, people, we have the two leftover muffins, one with some blackcurrant conserve, one with some marmalade. Of course, you know, we eat big on this channel, so familia española, let's appreciate this tortilla española. We have a shitload of potatoes, we have eggs, we have spinach, we have onions, we have a bit of bacon in there, so you know the deal. Bish, bosh, bosh. Let's get back to testosterone science and talk porn. Yes. 
porn and sex, okay? Because CO 2009 actually showed that watching sexually arousing films or just being sexually aroused overall is shown to increase the areas of the brain associated with increasing testosterone secretion. With another study by Cook and Cruiser 2012 who showed that even just four minutes of it was enough once again to cause a significant increase in testosterone. But also, as you can see in the graph, squat performance when watched before a workout. So screw caffeine, get on Pornhub and make all kinds of gains. Baby, I'm fit in a blast. Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, that's gonna be the post work on me. Look at that. Familia Española, right? My tortilla Española. How did I do? And while I'm here, this is my next problem for the video. So we only picked up like three of the Giannis in Aldi the other day. So yeah, we're down to the last one. But these are three euro and apparently Super Value are doing brayers for three euro. So you know the deal. That's right. It is adventure time to Kalini Super Value. I already checked my one and they don't have them. So I'm hoping Kalini can hook us up. And here we go. The fridges and the freeze. The free Oi, no. There's the vegan ones. Okay, there are three euro. I don't want vegan ones though. Here we go. Oh my god, coffee and cinnamon. What the hell? No, that looks horrible. Oh, there is a cookie one. There's a cookie one there. There we go, that's the last cookie and cream one. I don't like coffee, coffee's terrible. Oh yes, look, salted caramel. Boom. Actually, while I'm here, comment down below. Have you tried the oats and cinnamon one and then the chocolate orange one? I don't want to risk it. You know me, I'm a creature of habit and these are my two favorite ones. But if they're worth trying, then I might give them a go. But these are the ones we're going for. It's not going to last me very long. I'm definitely going to have to do another pickup. But two days, bagged. So while I drive home, let's get on to the next thing you need to do to increase your testosterone naturally. Oh my days, flashed from the past, but yes, the next thing you need to do is get to the gym and go absolutely beast mode, high volume, high intensity, okay? Because as per Kramer 2005, you can see in their review and conclusions from multiple training studies that protocols high in volume, moderate to high intensity, using short rest intervals and stressing a large amount of muscle mass tend to produce the greatest acute hormonal elevation. So yes, get to the gym, fam. And back to reality, filling up the car with petrol because that's what ordinary people still do these days. And can we just appreciate 20 euro on the dot. Perfetto. Yes, people, let's appreciate the sizzle. We have just made up two homemade burgers. We have half the beef left over for later. But yes, if you want the recipe, then go back to my previous videos. But today we have molded them into some rectangles. And can you guess why? Because that is precisely the size of the vesicle that they are going to be going in. Two buns, and of course, you know we're bulking. So for dessert and more carbohydrates, we're going to have eight of these caramel rice cakes. Perfetto. And I already know someone out there is saying, Scott, porn, high volume training, surely these aren't the main things we should be doing to increase our testosterone. And yes, you're completely right, okay? Their significance is very, very small. So in terms of compound lifts, you can see in the graph by West et al. 2009, that these are only very acute increases that you see, okay? With levels often dropping off soon after exercise. Thus, in terms of their effectiveness, according to the authors, the post-exercise increases seen in these hormones cannot be used as proxy markers for hypertrophic potential in skeletal muscle. So yeah, the difference or the effect they're gonna have is probably going to be very very small anyway we're going to smash that down and guys if you haven't jumped on the rice cake hype you saw them in my other video like 62 cent the aldi's ones are so so good and you can just add them to any like meal like that a perfect macro capper as well i've been sort of going ham on these on the macro capper so yeah if you're struggling with carbs these are key and yes we are banging out the steps someone will you be my friend please <laughs> anyway no we're not going into the motherland i might as well check one more time for the brayers because my life is so boring <laughs> i don't think it looks good oh my god what is this i haven't seen this one sweet berry can someone please explain if they taste that and whether it's good it sounds disgusting so yeah no good flavors but look at this 298 for the ben and jerry's muforia one Caramel cookie fix is the best one, but again, that's higher calorie. And you already know, we're not about that life, but I am on the trick shot run, so here we go, first time. Oh, oh shit. And before we get to dinner, we are back in the hermit room because I have made quite a hefty purchase, to be honest, which you will find out in the next video. But let's get on to the next point about testosterone because I did touch on training. Well, the next point is actually not to overdo it and avoid overtraining, okay? Training is great, but there only comes a point where doing too much negatively impacts testosterone. And this depends on the type of overload. So if you're overloading with intensity, it seems to be okay, but it's when you really add in a shitload of volume that you experience the hit. And this is confirmed by Fry et al. 1998, who got participants to do 
10 single 1RM squats every single day for two weeks, showing that although very high intensity, it didn't alter pre-exercise concentrations of total testosterone and actually slightly increased the acute response. So yeah, you might get away if overloading with like the weight or the intensity, but when it comes to volume, that's a whole different story as I will touch on later. But for now, it's dinner time and you know what? Um, there we go. We kept the Familia Española happy, so of course we have to do the same for the Familia Italiana and have not one, but two pizzas. So, Scotty, catch this. Ah, grazie mille, Scott numero uno, so without further ado. Abbiamo due pizze alla casa, una tonda cipolla, il mio preferito, and another one with some beef. Yeah, so we even have more beef left over for tomorrow. So yeah, a tuna and onion one, and then a beef one. And you know, we have prepped the oven already, so we're going to put one on the top like so. Then we're going to get the beefy one that can go just underneath it. And you know the deal! Fratelli d'Italia, Italia, Italia, yeah, you probably weren't expecting that, but as the pizzas cook up, let me go back to that last point I made about volume versus intensity and testosterone, okay? It seems to be that volume is more of a culprit, as per Schoenfeld 2010, who state that studies seem to show that overtraining is more as a result of excessive volume than intensity, and this can be seen perfectly in the graph by Heikinen, 1989, where as you continually increase your volume, testosterone plummets, and this gets worse when you combine lifting with cardio so more volume as seen in the graph by Taipele et al 2013 where cardio done after weights led to a significant reduction in testosterone both 24 and 48 hours post exercise compared to doing it before exercise so yes you want to train and train hard but you still want to monitor all of your variables and not completely overdo it like myself so hopefully that helps but now you know what time it is it's pizza time and I remembered the glove today so there we go pizza numero uno oh baby Beautiful. Pizza numero due, right there. And then you know the deal. We let YouTube slice them up for us. And Familia Italiana, can we get a hell yeah in the comments down below? Buonasera. And here we go. Morning steps acquired. And it would be rude. Well, we sort of have to. At this stage, it's like a rule. An empty box we have to get in. Like so. Ah, there we go. And wave to all the people. Hello. And there we go. Another series of the box adventures little edition here we go transition through the forehead and here we go the pre-workout is in and once again i'm not feeling it recording days are just so so long i literally end up doing like three back-to-back -back, like 20,000 step days but anyway macro capper will be on the screen salted caramel brayers with some golden puffs and the yogurt and let's get on to the final topic finally to increase your testosterone naturally we talked about stress and overtraining and that's just going to be stress in general you want to keep that low because as seen in the graph by brownlee 2005 with elevated levels of cortisol i.e your primary stress hormone there is almost like a linear negative relationship with testosterone so things like meditating relaxing trying to keep your stress as nice and low is definitely going to be a benefit so here we go please do me proud and there we go fam i am happy with that we can bag that one that is ticked off the list and of course we slog through this once again 20 minutes three two one boo there we go 2020 finito. man i'm in a good mood that was easy as well so i was prepping for a bad workout but we ticked it off and here we go can you guess what we're gonna make up with a ton of leftovers for the post-workout meal Correct, the leftover tortilla orgy of peace. And today for something sweet, we top it off with a whole wheat bun with some jam. Perfecto. And as always, comment down below whether you've tried it or not, but I think that's sort of going to be the end of the video. I've covered every single topic I wanted to on how to increase your testosterone naturally. So yeah, if there is one thing I finish with, it's probably going to be the title of this video, is that we know the role that Tess plays in libido and erectile dysfunction and everything. And I'm keeping it real with you, much like I said in the Truth About Being Shredded video. Back in the day when I was literally doing everything against the book, which I've been saying to you, down low really wasn't working. That was probably the day or the time that my dick really did stop working. <laughs> anyway, so hopefully you enjoyed it and gained a ton of value from this video. Let me know if you have any more questions. But for now, that is the end. Hope you all have a good day. See you all in the next video. Boop.